Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's adventure, I am taking you to one of the most iconic hotels on the planet, the Chateau Frontenac. Let's do it. been to Quebec City before and this is so fascinating to be dropped into the middle of the city but the fact that I'm staying at this iconic landmark is almost overwhelming because I don't know the city at all and yet I, it's almost like you're staying inside the Statue of Liberty because <laughs> everyone that comes here every tourist wants to see it I'm here in the middle of August every person on the planet who has come to Quebec City, this is their first stop, is this hotel. So I'm actually staying here, which is really kind of interesting. Um, honestly, I wouldn't stay anywhere else for my first time. I had to stay at the most iconic hotel. I love this hotel. I find it, it has got that classic old feeling to it, and yet it has updated itself and maintained its level of excellence, and of course, the staff is incredible. From the concierge to the front desk, to the maid service, to room service, everyone has been incredibly wonderful and helpful. Oh, and bell service as well. Um, it, it's just been across the board wonderful. And it is just so absolutely beautiful. I will say one thing, I have gotten lost here. I've, I don't even think I've been here for 24 hours. I have gotten lost I'd say at least four times already. So it is huge and it is a weird shape. I mean, you're in an enormous castle. So half of the floors like kind of stop and some of them are in the spires and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So even if you're not staying here, you must come here and see this place. It's incredible. <music> Um, this is one of the things I love so much about traveling and especially about going to a new place where I have no idea what the city is, what the hotel is like. It is a completely new adventure. So I get here and um, I check in downstairs and I had requested a, uh, a room with a city view. I didn't know the difference. You can either choose a city view, you can choose a river view. Um, they put me up like on the eighth floor, which is really high for this place. And I ended up in like one of the turrets of the castle basically. <laughs> and like the, the ceiling was, was shaped like 
you know, diagonally, and there was a tiny little window, and um, it was almost a little claustrophobic. I should have taken a picture of it because it was so weird, but I was like, I gotta get out of here. This is not the room for me. There's no question. So I went downstairs. There was a whole kerfuffle. This place is so crazy busy. If you're coming here in August, just make note, it is so busy. Either there's just people that want to see it and they're standing in the lobby like, or there's just people staying here loving it like me. So I went to the front desk, asked them to switch my room. Then it became like a whole thing and there was a lot of confusion. And at the end of the day, the girl was like, okay, yeah, no, we have a room that's available. And she wasn't anything about it. And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't care. Whatever's available is fine. It's on the third floor and blah, blah, blah. I walk in and it is the most gorgeous view of the river. You must get a river view. If you are staying at the Chateau Frontenac, please get a river view. Spring for it, it is worth it. But now, not only that, what happened was, I'm enjoying the view, doing a little work. I was tired yesterday, long drive. Just packed it in, closed up shop, went to bed around nine o'clock. I got waking up an hour later, there's like banging outside my window. I look out, the most unbelievably gorgeous fireworks show is happening right outside of my window. It was absolutely <laughs> spectacular. I had no idea. It's August 4th. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why. It went on for half an hour. It was top of the line, as good as Disney. I couldn't believe that it was right in front of my window. It was like they were welcoming me to the city. And I say, thank you. <laughs> or I say, merci. place on a couple of like really fun restaurant review lists and it was so so cute like the decor of this place I mean it's worth going in there just for the decor it was so eclectic and weird and interesting and it is true Canada like the sleds on the ceiling and the moose heads and the bears and I mean it's awesome and there's a car in the restaurant so there you go um the food was okay i only had two little things but i got the famous dish i started with my first poutine in canada uh the sausage that was served on top of it was fantastic the poutine itself just not that good um i've definitely had poutine before and um it's so different everywhere you get it this was a very very classic version of it with the cheese curd and that sort of gravy sauce that's almost like got a sweetness to it um and of course you know once you pour that sauce over it the french fries kind of turn into schlop and <laughs> it's like a thing so that's normal um i just didn't find it like amazing I'm not the biggest poutine fan, but it can be done in ways that is absolutely mind-blowing. So, I'm still on the hunt for more poutine. The
you come outside the Chateau Frontenac, you are literally on the river. And there is this gorgeous pier and boardwalk that goes right in front of the hotel. There's a little gelato shop, there's a little restaurant, and you're just surrounded by this spectacular old town of Quebec City. You are right in the heart of everything. So everything is in walking distance. Um, it just doesn't get any better than that. just kept going down and down and down and down. Now, mind you, the Chateau Frontenac is literally on the top of all of this, overlooking this incredible little old town. So to get to it, <laughs> it's so easy to go down. Going up, I'm not that excited about. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be slow, I'm not gonna lie. But this is, I mean, look at this restaurant. Look at how cute this is. Uh, it's just, there's too much. It's too much. It's too cute. It's too wonderful. Okay, so I just stumbled upon a place called Tavern Low, Louise. Um, a beautiful little tavern in a gorgeous stone building. Like, it's so beautiful. Each one is more incredible than the next. I mean, they're all... Are you looking at a cruise ship right now? Sorry, I'm so distracted here. <laughs> this is what happens when I get into a new city. This is just not any city. There is... It is so unique. It is so mind-blowing. It is so beautiful. There's so much to see. So I just keep wandering into one tavern restaurant after another um, I had a beautiful little appetizer meal I had some chicken wings they were interesting they had some sort of very savory rich sauce it wasn't sweet it wasn't spicy I'm not sure what it was um, it was very interesting but then I had this fragua pate they know how to do fragua here they're not joking with this stuff it's so rich and decadent and beautiful. The food here is incredibly rich. I'm actually craving like a salad or sashimi right now, <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna find that here. Uh, or no, I shouldn't focus on that. Poutine and more poutine. Okay, stairs are no joke. 
I've been trying to stop and pretend to look in shop windows. It's a hill. No, it's a mountain. I think it's a mountain. Um, yeah, no. I'm winded. I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. I have made it to the top. Yes. I have made it to the top. Okay. So, there is a funicular if you've just eaten and had rosé. Um, I highly recommend that version. But, no. Oh, still gorgeous. Everywhere I look, gorgeous. Look at this. Gorgeous. Ending restaurants and bars and awesomeness and of course ending the night with ice cream that's just the way it goes but this city is incredible I'm not surprised I've heard great things but it's better than that so good night for now restaurants here and so many of them have this like amazing old school cave vibe feel and it's just it's the coolest thing I just love it so there are so many restaurants here you literally would need to come here like you need to move here in order to get all of them I mean literally need to move here permanently so I'm not moving here yet but I'm getting close Especially occasion dinner 
him with a little Prosecco. This is so charming. I'm so impressed. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on my amazing adventure in Quebec City and the Chateau Frontenac, and I'll see you soon.